Why is it that Allah has chosen for us to be fit at an age where perhaps we are peaking on around 30, 40 and after that there is a decline? Why is it that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala did not keep us upon a level of fitness, a level of perhaps looks where we are looking young and healthy throughout our lives? Why does it have to be a graph that starts off in weakness and ends in weakness? As Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Allahu alladhi khalaqakum min da'fin thumma ja'ala min ba'di da'fin quwwah thumma ja'ala min ba'di quwwatin da'fan wa shayba. It is Allah who has created you in weakness. When you were initially born, when you came to this world, you were very weak. You were young, you depended on other human beings. Allah made you and gave you parents for a purpose. If he wanted, he could have created you in a way that you were already independent. You did not need anyone, but you needed someone to look after you from a very early age. And when you are in your peak, he wants you to look after the very people who looked after you when you were a little baby. And once again, when you grow older, he says, we will we grant people the peak and after the peak of strength they become weak again and they develop gray hair so when you are old those whom you have now given birth to are asked to look after you subhanallah and it continues up to the end it's the plan there surely is a master plan in that and if we sit for a moment and ponder we will realize that it's the continuity that means it's a test you will never ever perhaps agree with everything your parents do, even if they are non-Muslim, even if they are involved in something unacceptable. It does not stop you from being kind or decent or good to them. Like Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, if your parents are asking you or struggling, working against you in a way that they want you to associate partners with Allah or to sin and transgress against Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, do not obey their command that happens to be against the command of Allah, but continue living in goodness and kindness with them in this world which means even if you have non-muslim parents you need to be kind to them you need to speak with respect you need to try and serve them in the sense that you might want to spend money on their clothing on their food on their accommodation it's not wrong even if they're non-muslim what is wrong is when they tell you to do something against the instruction of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that is where you draw the line